Hey everyone, it's Janice from the Indianola Public Library. I'm back with another group of books that I think you will definitely want to check out. This week we're talking about graphic novels. And side note to grown-ups, these are usually real books, not just comic books. Though there's nothing wrong with a quick comic book read either. Anyway, graphic novels have stories that will satisfy almost any reader, whether you're looking for adventure, mystery, or just some ridiculous fun. We start with The Secret of the Switchboard, which is book one in a new series called The City of Secrets. It's written by Victoria Ying. It's a steampunk story, which means that it's set in a place that feels historical, but has all kinds of futuristic mechanical-y stuff going on. It's a little like The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick or the York series by Laura Ruby. Anyway, the story is about 12-year-old Ever Barnes, an orphan who lives alone in the six-leveled grand capital city of Oscars and spends most of his time hiding from the workers at the switchboard operating facility, which connects the whole city of Oscars. The city has secrets of its own, a mysterious map, concealed gears and mechanisms that rotate and shift the buildings, and the hidden safe that Ever guards, as his father did before him. Ever finds himself the target of a menacing band of rogues who are determined to unlock the secret he holds at any cost. With help from the building owner's daughter, Hannah, Ever has to find out what's really going on in this mysterious city of secrets, with everything from a secret society to an assassin's guild and hot air balloons to, whoa, a giant robot, this book is filled with all kinds of action and adventure. Give it a try. And we turn from sciency steampunk adventure to magical adventure with my next book. It's called Carrie and the Night of the Forest and is written by Andy Watson. If you like Ben Hapke's graphic novels like Mighty Jack or if you like the Amulet series by Kazu Kibuishi, I think you'll like this one. It's about a boy named Carrie who has to get through an enchanted forest, the Forest of Shadows, in order to get home and save his parents. Now, with a name like the Forest of Shadows, I'm sure you imagine that it's a light, airy, lovely place full of happy creatures and a clear path through, right? Yeah. No, we all know better. Of course, Carrie gets lost looking for a shortcut and winds up asking an ancient grouchy waystone, a floating one-eyed boulder called the Old Knight of the Road, for help. It turns out that the forest is enchanted by an evil being who is controlling the forest creatures, all of whom seem to be working to capture Carrie and take him to the evil spirit. This magical adventure is a little scary, but not too much, and has plenty of humor and excitement. It's a fun romp that looks and reads kind of like a video game. I think you should check it out. And from magic to superheroes and supervillains, we go to my next book, Donut the Destroyer by Sarah Grayley. This book tells the story of Donut, a girl who lives in a world where everyone has a special ability and can choose whether to use it for good or for evil. Donut has just learned that she has been accepted to the Lionheart School for Heroes. Hooray! But there's a problem. Wah, wah. Donut, whose middle name is The, last name Destroyer, is the daughter of two of the most infamous villains around, and her best friend Ivy, who is always summoning monsters and causing chaos, can't understand why Donut would choose a life of boring heroism and ruin their evil plans. Donut is determined to prove that despite her last name, she's meant to go her own way and be a hero. Now, this is a really, really funny book, despite all the reviews that talk about how it's a novel of friendship and family and forging one's own path in life and yada, yada, yada. I mean, yeah, it's all of those things too, but it's filled with laugh-out-loud hilarity and shenanigans and goofiness. Fun stuff. Give it a look.
And my last three books are all new books in series that I know you love. They all come out at the beginning of September, so put them on hold now so you can be among the first to read them. We've got a new Big Nate book coming out called The Gerbil Ate My Homework. The Big Nate series is written by Lincoln Purse. You've got to know where you stand to survive sixth grade, and Nate Wright, better known as Big Nate, has found the perfect spot, right next to Sherman, the class gerbil. Can Nate's furry friend bail him out of his latest homework jam with Mrs. Godfrey, or will there be a paper trail leading straight to detention? Nate has no answers, but plenty of ideas, like directing a superhero movie starring the amazing Mega Chad, inventing a new name for his pal Francis, and living up to his reputation as a PS38 prank day legend. And there's a new graphic novel adaptation of The Babysitter's Club Book 8, which is called Logan Likes Mary Ann. The series is written by Ann M. Martin, and this book was adapted as a graphic novel by Gail Galligan. It's the first day of a new school year, and while Mary Ann doesn't know what to expect from 8th grade, she's looking forward to getting back into the swing of things. One thing she definitely doesn't expect is to meet Logan Bruno, who just moved to Stony Brook. Logan has a dreamy southern accent, he's awfully cute, and he might be interested in joining the BSC. But the babysitters aren't sure if Logan would make a good club member, so they send him on a job with Mary Ann as a test. Logan and Mary Ann hit it off, but Mary Ann isn't sure of where their friendship could go. Life in the Babysitter's Club has never been this complicated or this fun. And finally, we have a new Dogman book coming out. The Dogman series is written by Dave Pilkey, and this latest one, book nine, is called Grime and Punishment. The Super Buddies bamboozled the baddies, but all is not right in the world. Dogman has a new problem to pound, and he's going to need his entire pack to help him. Can he outsmart this outlaw, or will he go barking up the wrong tree? Could there possibly be more silly dog puns in this description? It's a new Dogman book. You love the other ones? You'll love this one. Nuff said. So that's what I have for you this week. Come into the library and check out one of these great graphic novels or explore our graphic novel section and find something different. If you're interested in any of these books, you can put them on hold through our website or the IPL app. Or you can find them on display in the fiction section at the library. The library is open at 10 o'clock on Monday through Saturday and we close at our regular time, so stop in and see us. Bye!